So this is going to be a quick video, um, hopefully, and uh, basically this is going to be my first tutorial and I am going to demonstrate how I build my layouts for my towns or my buildings and how to make an open roof building and a closed roof building um, that are going to be decently proportional to the character. <clears throat> so before I start over here, I just want to take you on a quick little tour of what is going to be Kakaruku Village. And how I'm putting the layouts down. So what I do is I start by placing down blocks that are going to be able to stick out in order to see the layout that I want for the village. Um, they can be in any shape. Um, most of the time I just make a square or a rectangle as you can see over here. And now I'm going to demonstrate after I have my layout ready what I do. <clears throat> so the one here is going to be a three high block house. And this one here is going to be a five high block house. Or more. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a quick, simple uh, rectangular square-like house. I guess I could put a two a two door here. So we'll start just by doing the simple roof. And there we have a pretty much simple house. And we just add windows wherever we want. We can put one here. And another one over here. Actually, that one didn't work. And let's say we do it to here. And one more here. Okay, so we technically have a small house. This is a small squarish rectangled house, which you can <clears throat> add walls to divide and make little rooms. And then for this one, 
we pretty much do the same thing, which we add like this. Actually, I'm gonna do it. So now we're going to add the roof. I went the wrong way. Sorry about that. there. And that's the basic build. <clears throat> so let's try to make it pretty much the same. So we'll add a window right over here. Add the same place. And then the other one has two over here. About. Oops. I did that twice. I'm not really good with the binoculars. Now, because the house is much bigger, it looks better if we double the size of the windows.
Okay. So. The windows are pretty much the same. I might have not placed them exactly in the same place, but... And then you have some blocks to fix and different models to do because of the choice that I made for this one. That's pretty much it. So that's the difference between two houses of the same size. Um, one with the full roof and one with an open roof. So with the open roof, you can easily see inside the house and the view doesn't get cluttered or hindered and then with the closed roof by having the ceiling up that high you get enough room to be able to see where you're at and not be crunched in so i hope this was somewhat helpful and uh, like I said, that's <clears throat> my way of building things. I don't know if it's more complicated than the way you guys do yours or if it's a simplified version. Um, obviously, you can do a lot of decoration and, you know, you can add um, different rooms and stuff attached to the buildings or attach multiple buildings together. But what I've shown you is how I uh, do my basic layouts before I start building. And like I said, um, over here is what I'm working on right now. These are going to be two shops, the bazaar and the potion shop. And then over here we have the Skotula house. Um, and we have the Cuckoo Lady's house. I guess down here I could put like Impa's house or something. Then I made a well, another house, and the windmill. And then back here is where the graveyard is going to be. And over here is where I'm going to put dump a shock. So this is what I'm currently building and working on. And I hope that you guys like this video. That it wasn't too complicated or too simple. Have a good day.